Here at Power TV, we're all about having you get as much horsepower out of your car as possible, but you gotta get that power to the ground. One of the best ways to do that is with a center force clutch. Here to tell us about that is Will Beatty. Will, tell us about this new clutch system that you have available. It's our new twin dyad clutch. It's a DS twin. And the way it works, this particular one here is for a 2011 Mustang. Uh, the way this pressure plate works here, and I'll just kind of go over it real quick with you, kind of show you how it's different than your standard twin. This particular one here, let me just break it down a little bit and I'll kind of go backwards on how it works. This is our drive disc here. This is a sprung hub disc itself. So you see there's six, six drive lugs that drive the secondary disc. Uh, one of the things differently about what we do is this is actually a chromoly hub inside of here. Very strong. We've actually tested with the off-road market because they're brutal with clutches and we figure, well, if they're not going to break it, maybe this guy's going to shoot. Your standard twin, what you see nowadays, is usually a sprung hub and a rigid hub. This is our old style of doing uh, a twin. So we went back and said, well, this way we did it back in the 70s, 80s. If we're going to get back in the twin market. We want to make it different and make, make it more usable for the people on the street today. Typically, you would have a disc, two discs like this, and the spline would actually come through here. And this disc here would actually lock out the top, top disc. Well, what we're doing nowadays is we're running the, uh, the floater here on top of this. And our disc actually drives off of the, the first disc, what we call the drive disc, the sprung disc. As you can see, as it puts on the, this disc is not driven on the splines itself. The top disc actually does all the driving. So as that input shaft would sweat, uh, twist back and forth, you had that spring dampening, so there's no cancellation of that out. The other thing that we do is a little different, is typically when you push a clutch in on a twin, you hear this rattling noise. Well, that's just a floater rattling around. It doesn't really hurt anything, but it's annoying. So what we do, is we actually made these what we call anti-rattlers and there's three tabs here and what those do is they actually lock down on the outer edge of the floater itself and as RPM increases they actually fling out a little bit and it's, a, it's a, another centrifugal uh, device that we came up with about 1200 RPM it actually releases that floater and allows this thing to have a nice clean high RPM ship and coupled with our ball bearing pressure plate centrifugal weights this thing will hold 1,300 foot-pounds of torque. And this is primarily a street application? Very much a street application. It'll handle a lot of power and torque, as you saying. A lot of power and torque, and is being used on the drag strip today. Now, turning the page, you have a very special car in the booth here. Tell us about that. This is our 2011 Mustang. Uh, it is actually a charity-built car. It's for the Bennett Foundation. And what that is is uh, for families with uh, babies born prematurely. And this will actually be auctioned off at Bear Jackson uh, next year, early next year. And all the proceeds will go to that foundation. Really nice car. Tell us about some of the details on it. It's got a Kenny Bell blower on it, uh, nitrous. It's got billet specialty wheels, bare brakes, Cervini's body kit, Auto Art Studios uh, painted and put this whole car together. I think we have uh, obviously us on the clutch. It's got our twin in it. There's a lot there. As far as information on your clutch systems, how can somebody find out a little bit more info? Uh, I'd say go to our website, www.centerforce.com. All right. As far as getting that power to the ground, Center Force is the name you need to know.